In this video, I'll show you the three most underrated tips and tricks in TradingView and all this in less than three minutes. So as usual, all the best tools for day trading will be linked in the description. So don't forget to check that out and let's get right in. So the first one is going to be the plus and minus on your platform. So as you can see right now, we're making it bigger. So that means there's going to be less, you know, real estate for your charts. But there's also the opposite. We can make it very small. So all the borders are super tiny. So you can look at many more charts. So then after, if you look at something like a four, you can see how much space do you actually have. So maybe this is too small. So you want to actually make it bigger. And now you have more space on your screen. So this helps a lot. And something you want to do when you're doing actually this is go into your setting and just make sure your font is going to be bigger. So now you can see that the font is big and the charts are fine, but the actual border of trading view is going to be much smaller. And I think this is a really important thing to do if you're going to be using it. Otherwise, the site is just so much too big that it makes it annoying to use the actual platform. So this is the first trick and I think it's something that you should do right away. So now we're going to be going back to a zoom version so it looks cleaner on the video. But the next one is going to be to right click on an indicator after you added one and then go visibility and then you're going to add some time restriction. So if you don't want to see it on the day or the hour, you only want to see it on minutes. This is how you do it. So we're going to put a time frame of 10 minutes maximum. So then if I go and click 15, the indicator is not there. If I go to a five, now it's actually there. So this is super simple, but I think it's absolutely efficient because when you go to maybe a daily chart, you don't want to see it, or sometimes you do want to see some indicator, but then when you go intraday, you might not want to see these indicator and having like too many charts for no reason sometimes gets annoying. So this is why I think this is like the best way to really avoid this issue and, you know, make it better. So now we're going to be jumping in into the last section of this little tutorial, and this is going to be into the watch list. So right now I have a watch list that is named recent runner. So we're going to be adding stocks, so maybe Tesla or Apple, Nvidia, anything. It doesn't really matter. What's going to matter is now um, they're selected on the red. This is fine. Also, maybe you can create a new watch list if you prefer, but I'll show you a little tip if you're using one watch list, because otherwise, you know, it gets really messy to always have to open every single watch list every time and click on this one, then click on this one. So what I like to do is go over here and add section. So I'm going to rename this section maybe day one. So the stock that I'm moving in today, and I'm also going to add a second section, which is going to be multi-day. And then you can just move it below. So now you can maybe hide the section or just open it. So when you have like a bunch of stock or a bunch of section, you can just go over here and open the one you want, scroll, and then just close it or do the exact same thing. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. If you did, like and subscribe. And also don't forget to leave a comment down in the description and let me know what you want to see next. So thanks again. Peace.